play different. Greetings fellow Mac addicts. In this video we're looking at Boingo Electro, an arcade game from Dadgum Games which consisted of James and Jessica Haig. So let's dive in shall we? Yes, let's shall. The controls are simple enough, just the left and right arrows to move left and right and shift to jump. If you hold down shift you'll keep shooting up until you hit the top of the screen, but you can also of course let go of the shift button if you want to start falling back down again. So you may have noticed these water droplets moving about the screen. If the player collides with them while they're in the air or blue, they'll start flying back up. The goal here is to make them fly back above the top of the screen, and once you've done this enough times, the next level will begin. However, if you touch the water when it's on the ground or orange, it will electrify you, and that's just shocking. It will also drain some of your energy, and once you run out, that's it. The game is over, although you do gain a little bit back after you finish the level. You also have to prevent the water from touching the gems scattered about the level, because if they do touch one, it will take a massive chunk of your energy, and that's just not wicked. As you progress, things naturally get a little bit harder. The water begins to move faster, more gems are placed around a level which you need to protect, and electrical barriers are added which drain your energy when you walk through them, so you can't just blame it on the rain. Boingo Electro was a free game that came with Bumbler and some versions of Bumbler b -Lux. It was included entirely as a purchase incentive, so if someone bought Bumbler, they would also get another game for free. And how could you say no to a hot deal like that? Eventually he gave it away for free, so he could include promotional materials for Bumbler b -Lux. Boingo Electro is actually a remake of an Atari 8-bit computer game James Haig wrote many years earlier. This game was called The Electroids, and design-wise it's exactly the same game. Additionally, it only took 5 days to implement from start to finish. A neat little touch I noticed when editing this video is that the player's character will drop from whatever spot they are on the title screen when you press start. I'll do a little bit of slow motion here so you can see what I'm talking about. Something I really like is that the character appears to be a Rastafarian, which I think is very cool because I think diversity in games is very important, even if they're only represented as little cartoon people. Boingo Electro is definitely a fun and solid game, but it lacks something to really bring you back. It adds difficulty in interesting ways, and the crowd control style of game design is certainly fun for a while, but there isn't enough actual game variety. But although it won't keep you coming back again and again, it's still well worth having on a classic Mac. And that my friends, it's Boingo Electro.